San Marcos sits at the number one position in a recent study of the top eight suburbs to buy a home in in San Diego for first time home buyers, beating out really great cities like Carlsbad and El Cajon, Oceanside and Escondido. Hey, we tend to agree, everywhere you look, there are beautiful trails, neighborhood parks, scenic rolling hills and vistas, tons of activities. Hey, the park and rec department in San Marcos is awesome. Plus some of the homes that we've sold there have some pretty spectacular views ones where you can even see the ocean. We are not kidding when we say San Marcos has it all. Affordability, well, <laughs> according to San Diego standards, great neighborhoods, both big old master plan communities, along with some smaller communities. Heck, there's even areas where you can have a small farm, horses, or even some acreage. Plus you've got top rated schools. And guys, this city is expanding right now with new home communities, business development, and big time infrastructure improvements. And in this video, we are breaking it all down for you, showing you exactly why it tops this list and better yet, why it should be on your radar when you're making a move to San Diego. Right now, there are over 50 major development projects going on in San Marcos. You've got new homes, condos, and apartments going in everywhere. Kaiser just put in a new state-of-the-art hospital. All around the Cal State San Marcos College campus, you've got a new community of North City. They're working on new neighborhoods like Discovery Village North and Discovery Village South behind that new Kaiser Hospital. Plus you have new business expansion going on too. Everything from industrial centers for small businesses to new restaurants, breweries, Hey, there's even a winery going in. Tons of industrial business parks and mixed use buildings are going in too, bringing in new companies to the area like Carl Strauss Brewery. Even the companies that are long-term staples in the area, they're expanding and making improvements too, like Hunter Industries, which is a sprinkler manufacturer, and Holly and Dairy. Yes, San Marcos is a bit country in some places, and there's still a dairy here. Well, the cows are up north in the San Jacinto Valley, but the milk is processed here in San Marcos. So this is all great for the city itself, but what does it mean for you? I mean, why would you wanna move here, right? Well, with all this new housing that's been put in or is in the works, why not? The newer master plan communities had to raise the funds for the infrastructure to support the growth in the form of Mello Roos, which we get asked about all the time. Basically, Mellow Roos is a tax on the residents of the new home developments, where they use the tax revenue to pay for schools, fire stations, road improvements. Hey, you get the idea. So you buy a new home from the builder or a newer home that still has that Mellow Roos tax, expect to pay a couple hundred dollars a month in fees, which adds up. You're looking at about $2,500 a year. Yep, <laughs> and that tax sticks with that property for about 30 years. And this is just another great reason to reach out to us early on in your moving process. We can help identify which properties have the higher fees associated with them, like Mellow Roos and HOA dues, along with explaining the full cost of ownership. Because guys, newer homes don't always end up being your best value believe it or not there are communities that are nearing the end of their mellow ruse fees timeline there are some communities that never even had mellow ruse or hoa fees associated with them and that's the specific type of research that we love providing you with so you are totally comfortable and confident that you're making the right decision Hey, we truly want you to love your new neighborhood and your home. So maybe you like the new home idea. We will absolutely help you with that buying process because let's just say if you haven't bought a new home before, it's different than buying from a traditional seller. The last thing that you want to do is go visit a new home track without representation. So before you even consider visiting that new home development, do yourself a favor and call us. Hey, would you represent yourself in a major court case alone? probably not without a lawyer. So don't do it when you're buying a home, new construction or not. Let professional, experienced, expert negotiators, I might add, go to work for you. By the way, we have a couple of videos covering some of the new home developments on the north side of town. We've added links for you. We know you're curious about how the floor plans live out and if they'd actually fit your family's needs. Maybe a home that isn't brand new is a better fit. 
which a lot of the folks that we help end up discovering. Luckily, San Marcos has a ton of different neighborhoods and options. Some of our clients' favorites through the years have been Santa Fe Hills, plus Discovery Hills, and San Alejo Hills. Hey, definitely a trend there with these community names, huh? <laughs> oh, and my cousin, well, my dad's niece, uh, bought a home over in Twin Oaks Valley Ranch, specifically because they wanted to raise their kids in a family-friendly neighborhood. All of these communities have that sought after SoCal family vibe. Kids walking to and from schools, hiking trails, and neighborhood parks everywhere. Some of these communities even have clubhouses, community pools, and golf courses. Oh, and some are even gated. Hey, if you have not checked it out yet, look up Lake San Marcos. This area is unique to San Marcos, well, to San Diego as well. You can actually buy a home on the lake. Granted, the home's gonna be older, built in the 60s, but you have your own dock where you can park your boat <laughs> and you can actually boat over to the revamped restaurant there overlooking the great, uh, the lake. Hey, when we were little in the 80s, we would head over to Lake San Marcos for Sunday brunch with our grandparents. So this whole area holds a special place in our, our family's hearts. Well, they did a much needed rehab and facelift to that whole area. The restaurant and the golf courses have all been revamped, something you definitely wanna check out. Some of the common questions we get from viewers like you is where can I get the most bang for my buck? What areas are gonna offer good appreciation through the years? Well, this is why we like San Marcos. You're buying into an area with massive investment in the city's future. In a great North County location too, along the 78 freeway, making it easy for you to hop on to that 15 or five freeway to head down to San Diego, or even up to LA or Riverside. You've got great weather, less marine layer than you're gonna find along the coastline, and less heat than what you're gonna find in Escondido. Perhaps it's the Goldilocks weather by San Diego standards. The old schools are getting overhauls like San Marcos High and Richland Elementary. San Marcos Boulevard and Discovery Road are being widened along with that whole San Marcos Creek project, which will revitalize the main thoroughfares in town and that's gonna change the whole vibe around here. Even though San Marcos has been around for what feels like forever and home values have risen here, just like all over San Diego, guys, buying a home and establishing roots right now in a city with this kind of growth is a positive for your family all the way around. You have a ton of amenities with all these major improvement projects going on. We truly believe that San Marcos is on the cusp of something big, a city that will be totally different in the coming years and can't help to think that in a sense, you're getting in on the ground floor and you're gonna be able to ride that appreciation wave on your home's value throughout the years all the while living out your family's best life in a really great San Diego city. So if that sounds like something you'd want to check out, be sure to jot down our phone number and our email, reach out to us and schedule a one-on-one -on -one call because once we talk, we can help you determine if San Marcos is right for you or if there is even a better fit for your family, lifestyle, and budget. Oh, and if you haven't heard, Apple is building a campus about 20 minutes south of San Marcos down the freeway in Ranch Bernardo, and we all know what happens when apples comes to a new area. Home values, along with everything else, benefits from the growth. So be sure to check out that video next.